Hi, this is Juno and welcome back to another Summoner's War video. Today we are on We Will Be Heroes account and this is an account in EU server. This person also is a Patreon so shout out to Matt because that's his Patreon name and Discord name. So shout out to you. Thank you for supporting me. I already like what you're doing. You have 20k crystals and I hope you're using a good portion of that grinding and the Matt account shows that. So good for you. I think you're going the right way. Love it. Another account with 100 plus million mana. It might mean that you're not powering, in, powering up enough runes. And we'll take a look at that. We'll see how many runes are plus 15. But right now, it looks awesome. Hey guys, before we start the video, if you guys are interested in getting advice and help from me and other Summoners War players, feel free to join my Discord where the link is in the descriptions below. Also, if you enjoy my content and want to support me, become a Patreon, where the link for it is also in the descriptions. I want to say I appreciate all the support, and believe me, I really do. Anyways, that was it. Let's get back to the video. And currently you're Challenger 3, and I believe you're not in this level, seeing how you're farming, so I'm pretty sure you just put like a weak defense or you're just not attacking. Let's take a look at your record. You played for only only 600 games, so I think this is like the lowest lowest days that I've seen, or at least for the recent ones. It looks like you have a pretty high record compared to a lot of these other accounts that we've seen. So you are in C2 and Arena, so that's good. That's good. Um, I'd like to see something different than those three three silver stars. World Arena is C1. Um, you never played Special League, it looks like. And Guild is in G1, but your Siege is in C1. That's a little weird. That's a big disparity. I don't know what your, what your Guild is doing. I do think you would want to play in a higher level Siege. And if not, you should be abusing this level of Siege. Like, you should be getting the highest amount of contributions. And it shouldn't be too hard, really. I think if you make two or three really nice Siege defenses, I think you could achieve that. And it doesn't even have to be the meta Siege defenses, because meta Siege defenses really work in... G2, G3, where they stack their defenses. But G1 and under, anything works. It's just all about room quality. And then you are doing the solo R5, I believe, looking at the time, I hope. Let's take a look. Yes, solo R5 if it is. So I love what you're doing. I hope this is a dupe Jogun, because I know people do this, but I really think Jogun could do better than just being an attack leader. <laughs> so. Just letting you know that, I think you're going the wrong, right track. Let's look at your monster box. Okay, you have the Poseidon out, so it looks like you already have a good arena offense unit. You have a lot of units 6 starred Not the most, but let's take a look. You have a speed lead. You have the Barbara. Um, not a whole lot of water in that 5, so you're missing a lot there. You only have 4 or 5. Yeah, 5. I mean, there's a fusible, so you only have 5. That's actually... Oh, 6. Sorry, 6. But that's not a lot. Let's get fire. Definitely more fire net fires right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Wow. It's like twice as much. Not bad. Um, you have the molly. So I will be abusing this in your arena defense. Like I know you have the units to go for a fast defense. Because you have Samath and then you have Triton. But really I would abuse this. I would abuse this with your carnal. That, and because you do have a 44 lead. That's what I will do. Um, no LD net 5, but you do have a LD 4.5. <laughs> I think Molly is a 4.5, my opinion. But I like your box. I think you have everything that you need to enjoy the game. You have more net 5s that you didn't build. Oh, this makes me sad. You didn't build a Christina. Wow, you have so much. You have so... What the heck is this? This just shows me that you're not playing the game. Maybe you just took a break. I mean, or you're kind of sick of it <laughs> recently because you have 20k crystals. You have one, two, well, some are dupes, but let's just see how many you have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14, 19, but this is not really, you know, so 18 and then 23, 23, 26. You have 26, 27, 27 nav fives that are not built. And that is not good. A lot of these units are really good. Like, what are you doing? You have this unit right here. I don't know what you're doing. That's definitely a must. I mean, so I mean, I think you already have a Savannah, so that's another dupe. But you know, Oki, um, the Ethna, the Moor—they're all awesome units. I don't know why you're not building them. 
So if you want to know what my advice would be to go step forward is just be farming or I would just, you know, work on all of these. I think w by doing this, it will open up your account even more. Uh, yes, you might argue that you don't have the runes for it. So let's take a look at your runes and we'll talk about your arena stuff after that. Let's take a look. I like how you built your Poseidon. It's fast and it looks like it has high accuracy. Not crazy high, but um, it's. I think that's enough. But I like it's built fast because it, it tells me that you're using it in a fast team and it doesn't look like it's like a slow speed where it's not tuned. But anyways, let's look at Vi Oh, so let's look at Swift runes. 23, 22. Okay, not that crazy fast, but 28. That's great. Another 28. Wow, two 28s. That's awesome. And another like couple 24s. So are these plus fives? Yeah, they are plus fives. Oh, this one. Plus five. Uh, definitely something to gem out here. And it looks like you have a lot. And I like what you're doing. You're not really gemming out these runes because you don't think that these runes are on the correct units or is not on the permanent spot. Because if they were on the permanent spot, I will be grinding. I mean, I will be gemming out something to make it better for that unit. But that's fine. It might be a little early to be really deciding on a certain stat. 27, 26. Ooh, okay. I will plus 15 that for sure too. Grind everything out. Again, set priorities. Looking at how many swift grinds you have, it looks like you are doing solo R5 really well. That's good. 24, 22, 28, 24. Yeah, I like this. I like definitely very good account uh, quality, room quality. It's much higher than majority of the accounts that we've seen in this account review series in my channel. So I like the way you're going. Not much to say here. Let's look at your violent runes. 26, 20. Okay, a big drop, but you do have a fast rune there. Overall, it looks like the, the efficiency isn't that high. So it's something to work on. Yeah, definitely something to work on. But I also see that you have a lot of grinds here too so maybe you're just looking for the right rune um 24 20 so if i see runes like this i would grind them i don't know why you're leaving them alone because 20 is is a good target 20 is a good target 22 20 again um 17 only 14 that's low 22 like see like i don't know why you're not grinding these it makes no sense. If you're not using swap, start using swap because it will definitely tell you uh, the efficiency of your runes. And that's how I go go for it. I look at the efficiency. I look, I go for the highest ones first. And if they don't look complete, I start grinding them. Uh, but in your level, actually, I would grind anything that has the highest speeds first, like over 20 like this, um, because these are a keeper. You're not, these runes aren't going anywhere. You're keeping them until the game dies. These are going to go on somebody else later on because I think it's such a waste on an Ikaru. I mean, it's a violent rune, definitely a waste on an Ikaru. So this is this should be a, re a target where you want to replace and use on a on a unit that you really want to improve. And I would definitely probably gem out the defense for like HP percentage or something like that. It's kind of sad that you, you did gem out this defense. I don't know what it was before. Maybe it was crit rate. Um, but I still think if it was, it was the wrong decision. I would have replaced the accuracy or crit damage. Probably the crit damage. And then 18. Okay. So violent runes are a lot less uh, lower in quality. And seeing that your slot 5 is 2014, definitely something that you should work on. So DB12, then GB12 for sure right now. And then Will26, that's an efficient rune. That's an efficient rune. Um, 17. So one fast rune, but that's it. And then 28. That's good. That's a very good rune right there. Again, plus five. I still like how you're giving these plus five grinds. I don't like what you did here because you gave it a gem that's probably like a blue gem. Even a blue gem could get an eight and then you gave it a legend grind. You should only invest legend grinds on technically 11 plus, I think. I have some that I gave legend grinds to a long time ago on like 10 pluses, but I never gave a legend grind to a 10 or lower. Uh, and now I would only give a legend grind to 11 or higher. Like it has to be at least a max hero grind or higher. And I'm pretty sure there are people that are in higher level than me that will only give legend grinds to 12 or higher because that is the definition of a legend gem. I would have went for another HP gem, tried to get at least plus 11 or plus 10. Uh, and the most optimal would have been a plus 12 or 13. 
and then a legend grind there. Before that, I would just gave it like a hero at max and just play with that until I could get the runes. Plus 20, definitely grind that. See, like these, I don't like how you're missing some grinds on these good runes. Kind of tells me that you're not focusing on all of these. Maybe you're going at it uh, spontaneously when you just see that the rune needs grinds. But you should sit down one day and look at your rune pool and start grinding your start grinding your runes. Uh, fast slot six is um, well two runes that are fast, but that's about it. So rune quality wise, I think Swift is the highest, and then Will sets and the Violent sets. And I would work on your Violent sets first because that slot five is really weak and co really compared to all the other rune sets. The violent runes are the weakest, so that is the one dungeon I would focus on. Let's take a look at your fastest runes. So 29 on slot 1, 29 on slot 3, 27 on slot 4, 25, and then 28. So nothing that's over 30, but this guy was only playing for 600 days. That's all about runes. Again, I already told you, I think you already have a good amount of grinds. Let's see how many grinds you actually have. Yeah, almost full. So I would start grinding, 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 grinding before I even start farming again. I mean, you could only start farming again once you have room anyways. Looking at your record, back it again, I think there's a, it's pretty clear what you wanna focus on, right? You wanna go for C3 above in regular arena. You wanna hit C1 in world arena. And guild wise, it's more of you joining a better guild. Um, so I can't really tell you there, but those two seem like a very a clear indication or a clear goal in front of you. So let's give you some advice for arena defense. So arena defense, and I already know that this is not ruined. So it looks, it tells me that you're not really running arena. But if you do, like I said, there's two obvious picks that you'll make. You'll make the Carnal as your lead, if I can find them. Yep, there you go. You'll make the Carnal as your lead. You'll you'll put the Molly there. So those are your core picks, and then from here you could. Decide on what you want to do. I like to do a Juno for the strip because the only reason you're putting Carno is for the lead and his control. And if you want him to control, you need a stripper. Um, so you will want to put in the Juno, which is a pr pretty good stripper. Or you could put in even the Clara, which is another good stripper because she will always use skill 3, which is full health. Or you could even go with the Triton. Um, and the Clara Triton adds a little more because they're really really fast meaning certain teams can't just face palm your team and just come into it and get the win because there are the risks where your team moves first and gets the strip stun or strip pushback and that could be detrimental to the opponent team so do something like that plus one what was what's good for the plus one probably a healer like a nemesis healer which you don't really have right now built or you don't have one at all, so if you don't have one, you'll either put in the Riley, that's really tangy, right? Attack buff is an addition to your box, or you'll put a Triana, which you have out here, I think, that you're trying to build, so you don't have a Triana yet, but that's what I'll do. Or you could even put the Darien, uh, but Darien requires really high rune quality. I don't know if this will do, especially if it doesn't have 100 res, so... Yeah, that's my advice, and I'm pretty sure you could easily reach C3 and above. This is a good one. A very popular team, so that's great. That is, that is really good. And oh, that's a f yeah, yeah. You had you have pretty fast swift sets, so that's a pr that's right. So this is good, kind of slow, but because of the side and pushback, I'm assuming that's why you made it that slow. Still better to make it speed tuned because there 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 is the aspect of resist, although it's a joke. Sometimes it always works in the defense size. Another good one, fast one, right? Uh, really slow smash though, I don't like this build. I wish it was much faster. Um, interesting, interesting build here too. I thought that was a light demon for some reason, but it wasn't, okay. I guess you want to go against the Nanas and stuff, right? That's probably it. The Revivers. Um, okay, a lot of these other ones. So you don't have a second turn team, and that's what I would build for sure. Um, you have the Zeros, so using the Zeros Tiana team is also great. If you have, if I had to build build one, add one, it would probably be like. Well, Zeros, I think Zeros wasn't built, built, or was it? Oh, it was. Um, 
So here I'll use that, and then I'll use Tiana, Galleon, plus one, which you have a lot of other damage dealers, right? You have even the Pung back, not skilled up, so don't use that, only if it's skilled up. You can always go back to the Poseidon, even this, this offense will be work really well. So I'll use that, or if it goes second turn, um, well, second turn is not really a good, good option, great option because you don't have, you don't have the Leo, but you do have a, another option where you could do a bomb team. So you could do this, this, right? And you could even put a Bastet here plus a John. So you could put that team. This is a pretty common team as well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it works really well against certain teams. Uh, finally, if I had to give you another one, again, I really want a second turn team, um, but you don't, again, you don't have the units I want, so you'll have to go like a mid-level or mid-speed second turn team where you're not too slow, because if you're way too slow, they'll just outspeed you, which is not, or not outspeed you, they'll lap you, which you don't want. So what I will do is probably, you need, you need a Galleon that's slow, you need either a Tiana or a Delphoi, which you don't. So let's assume that this is Delphoi, so you put Delphoi there. You need a stripper, right? Uh, and it's like a mediocre speed stripper. So you could like build a Hay Gang to do that. You could use Jogan to do that. Um, yeah, Jogan might be a good option because he also gives uh, attack buff, but that could come later. Um, where is it? Yeah, an AoE stripper. So I guess for Juno for now, it's not that reliable, but it worked. I used I used Chiu, but yeah, that could work. And then finally, uh, AoE damage dealer, which will be like your uh, Bail, Bail or Christina. So something like that. And you could even go with the accuracy lead. So this will be like plus 100 speed and everything else will be like plus 50 to 70. So the Tiana, oh, no, sorry. So you don't, sorry, not the Tiana, sorry. Um, because you're, in, we're gonna assume that's the Delphoi. Well, you don't even need the Delphoi. You just have to make everybody tank enough to survive. So technically, let's assume that you don't have the Delphoi. You could just do this. Um, go mid mid speed team and do this right here. This works, right? So the thing is, this mid speed second turn team needs to be tanky. So at least one unit has to be on double shield wheel. So the shield set actually mitigates more damage. Um, and then everybody still has to be a little tanky. After everybody survives, the stripper goes to strip everybody on their team, the galleon goes, the reset goes in, and then the cleanup. That's what I used to run, really. And it really worked well, my first G1. So I will make a team like this. So these are the three I'll probably do. I like the bomber team, I like this kind of team, because I love resets. And the same thing, uh, this is another, this is a fast one, and this will be a slow one. But you can't use Xeroth in both places, so you'll have to make a choice. Okay, and then RTA wise, let's give you some advice for RTA. You're in C2, I'm sorry, you're in F, F2, you have 61% win rate, so you could actually continue playing and see what could happen. Um, I like how you only have a certain number of units pulled out. Let's look at the skill, the, the power up status. So if they're not powered up, I'll not use it. Um, I will not use Galleon. See, like, I will not use Zeros. So if I had to choose, um, these will these will be out. This will be questionable, but this is a counter unit, so you can leave it in for now. Like if all of these units are not powered up, they're not worth. They're not worth uh, using. So please use only units that are powered up. Yeah, like I'll definitely Juno's one. That Juno's a good one. Rika's also a good last pick, but not powered up, so I'm not gonna bring it out. Um. Yeah, there's just too many units that's not powered up. Just use the ones that are okay. I don't know why you're not using Carnal. Carnal has, has the best, you know, one of the best leads for Arena. So that definitely that's one. Um, this could be a very good counter for very fast teams. Riley should be out for sure. Chunk Punk should be out. See how these are all skilled up and you're not using them? It doesn't. It just makes no sense. Yeah, it, just like this will be a small addition, but there are other things that you would add, like the Barbara, Samath, even the Chow could go against certain teams, the Rika, Laika. Um, I, I love Tessarion. It's fully powered up, cool, Tessarion. So I'll go with a fully second turn team, to be honest, because you do have the units for it. 
So I'll use something like this, right? Um, but that might not be necessary. And um, I'll take out probably these two as well. Yeah, something like this. This is triple revenge. Yeah, it is, but it's way too slow. No, this is your this is your trick over. So I'll change this. So your the builds are wrong. This is an okay build. It's not fully it's not fully built. Savannah's on the wrong build too. Um, not bad, not bad. Volume. Okay, this is an actual very good Sierra compared to your level. So that's great. That not built. So you will definitely want at least two strippers here. So you have two right here, right? You want to pick these out if you want to start using these like control or you could go like the surviving route where you pick like Riley you know Rusa and then Carnal um, and then put in like some like Chung Pong add in like control or strip it really depends um, these this two combo is really nice too because the glancing helps with Douglas but again I'll only use Douglas if he's fully scaled up yep that was it guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, pretty obvious what you want to do, how you want to improve, it's getting C3 and above and also uh, getting C1 and RTA and I'm telling you right now, I think you do have the room qualities to do that. Probably the last thing I want to check before being sure about it is to check your towers. So you're still, f whoa, okay, uh, wait, uh, you're still, well, you're missing a lot of damage in like dark and light and water and oh shoot, okay, maybe not. You might, I mean, this might not be like detrimental, but this is pretty big, the HP here. Same with water damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna f like say that you could reach C1 confidently because the towers are not powered up. Focus on that. So there you go. The first things you should to, to do is finish your arena towers, farm violent runes, because looking at your RTA team, it looks like a violent, it looks like you're going second turn. So violent runes will definitely help. Arena, a tanky arena defense, and I gave you some options for an offense. And with that, you will probably reach C3 and above you know, in regular arena and C1 in RT. But that was it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope this helped. We will be heroes and, or mads, and I hope to see everyone in the next one. Bye. <laughs>